In the previous two videos, I, uh, we discussed negative selection, and that's the process by which self-reactive or autoreactive T cells are not allowed to leave the thymus. They are destroyed by apoptosis because, uh, in theory, you let T cells out into the body and they recognize self-peptides, you would think, well, they're going to attack the body. And that is true for most T cells. But there is a small class of T cells that are allowed to recognize um, self-peptides. These are called regulatory T cells, or T rings. And it's not a lot of n is known about these. These are fairly new discovery, uh, and we're just starting to understand how they work. Um, we still don't understand a whole lot of how they're selected for. So some of this might seem contradictory into, into what I just talked about in terms of negative selection. So yes, in the thymus, we normally destroy any self-reactive T cells. But scientists have discovered that a small percentage of self-reactive T cells are actually allowed to go out into the world only on the um, assumption that they suppress an immune response when they recognize self. They don't attack self. So these T reg cells or regulatory T cells, they're usually CD4 positive T cells, and their job is not to uh, provoke an immune response. Their job is to suppress an immune response. And this is when they recognize a self-peptide. So let's say um, at the bottom here, we have a, uh, so on the right, we have a healthy cell. There is no infection. So there's no reason to activate the immune response. And we know healthy cells present self-peptides. They do it all the time. So let's say that T cell at the bottom, it is a normal CD4 positive T cell. And it has a T cell receptor that just so happens to recognize self. So this is not the good kind of recognition. We don't want that T cell at the bottom to, to activate. But it binds self and it binds it strongly. Wait, weren't we supposed to eliminate all these self-peptide, self-reacting T cells in the thymus? Well, negative selection does a good job. It is not perfect. In negative selection, you cannot show every T cell, every single peptide that you make all over your body. Just impossible. So there are some T cells that are let out of the thymus that do, in fact, recognize your self peptides. And these would be bad. That's, those are the ones on the bottom. So if that one on the bottom is self-reactive and recognizes the healthy cell, it might activate and provoke an immune response. Now the T cell at the top, the regulatory T cell, it recognizes self-peptides, but when it recognizes self-peptides, T, what T reg cells do is they actually suppress the immune response, they, and they will actually suppress the neighboring T cell that also recognizes a peptide on the surface of that healthy cell. So I know this is a lot of sort of, uh, you know, uh, contrary information about, well, we don't want T cells recognizing our peptides. Well, except when we do want it to suppress other T cells that recognize our peptides. So I know this is a little confusing, but these cells are actually really important because without T reg cells, we would have self-reactive T cells that squeezed out of the thymus, they got past central tolerance, and they wander the body and they react against the self because negative selection is not perfect. So the purpose of T reg cells seem to be to catch any of the self-reactive T cells that made it through negative selection. So these T reg cells, and we'll talk about how they function later in later videos, um, what is known about them is on their surface, they, are, uh, they have a protein expressed called CD25, which is unique to T reg cells. None of the other T cells that we talk about um, have CD25 on their surface. So if a T cell, you know, a CD4 positive T cell has CD25 on its surface, then we know it, this is not a helper T cell, uh, it's not a Th1 cell, it's not a Th2 cell, it is a T reg cell. So when it binds peptide, and it's binding cell peptide, its job is to suppress the immune response, not to provoke an immune response. So, yep, these are confusing cells, and um, the reason we talk about them is because they seem to be important in suppressing self-reactive T cells.